So what you need to do is go to www.usd458.edmodo.com and notice that this is the Edmodo for the Baser Linwood School District. And this is where you can sign in And then you're going to, if you already have an account, if you don't have an account, you'll go through the login process. But if you have a current account, you can just log in and then it's automatically going to ask you for a school code. And so for the school code for Baser Linwood Middle School, you're going to do KGTXUZ. And then it will log you in. I won't do it because I already have an account. Um, but that's the way you get to it. So you have to use the KGTXUZ to then move over to um, this account. I'm currently working on getting it so that anytime you log into Edmodo, it'll redirect you back to the um, USD458.edmodo.com. But they have to do something uh, on their end to get that to redirect for me right now. And so if you want kids to get on, if you can have them, I know you guys have the Edmodo app, and I'll eventually get that redirected, but right now if they go to usd458.edmodo.com, that'll help bind them the, to the domain. But once you put in your teacher code, then you're automatically a part of my, a part of my group, and then I can see your students and things, because currently um, when I'm logged in, go ahead and get myself logged in and I'll kind of show you what it looks like. Um, when I log in, I have the ability to switch to the district admin side. And so once, once you join, I have all the schools here, so Baser Linwood Middle School, and I can actually see all the teachers in here but currently no one's joined my domain yet. So I have 100 pending teachers across the district at different schools who can join the system. So I can even look at Baser Linwood Middle School and see everybody here who currently has an account um, and just hasn't joined to um, my section and become part of my part of my group. And so once you log in and you're part of that, then I'll be able to go back and I'll be able to see your students as they join in, um, and I'll be able to see all the students that are in our district, and then I actually can, um, I can go in and change passwords if for some reason the student can remember their password, um, and I can do some other things with it. I can actually delete their account, which I obviously would not do, but if there was for some reason you couldn't get rid of a student and we need to do that, and as you join, I'll have more ability to have some things that I can do here. Once I have more members in here, there'll be other things that I can do as well. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, just putting in that code um, will help you get started with joining the domain.